My newlywed parents arrived in the U.S. during the autumn of 1974 with two suitcases full of fashion forward clothing, osembe, and a set of 30 Japanese encyclopedias. My mother immigrated to the U.S. with my father, who was earlier drafted into the U.S. Army as a paratrooper in the Vietnam War, and was now being relocated from Camp Zama in the Kanagawa Prefecture of Japan to Fort Ord in Marina, California. As you'd imagine, my grandparents, who had lived through World War I and II, weren't entirely thrilled about their daughter moving to the U.S. with a member of the U.S. Army. To them, the U.S. was considered an enemy due to the oppressive nature of the Japanese government and the misinformation being drilled into its citizens. However, their view of the U.S. gradually changed as my mother and father grasped onto opportunity, went to college, and worked towards maintaining successful professions. When asked about my grandparents' changing perspective about Japan-U.S. relations, my mother exclaimed, My parents' view of America changed when they saw that I was happy and I was taking every opportunity I could get. Isn't that what being a parent is about? Wanting your child to be happy no matter how painful for you it is to see them go? My grandmother proceeded to visit the U.S. seven times until the age of 80, especially during the years when I was an infant. Silly enough, though, my mother still holds on to her set of Japanese encyclopedias bestowed upon her by her parents during her high school years despite their low income. When asked about their importance, she often responds, Well, I don't want to lose it, so I hold on to it. I like to have it. It's nothing dramatic. However, it's easy to see that these books function as a connection back to my mother's roots, to her parents, and to the land where she grew up.